What's going on guys? Jared here, JC's Lawn Tips today, showing you my snow removal setup for 2022. I'm actually very excited about this because snow, I've been doing it for a while, worked with a couple of buddies over the last couple of years, and finally the right time came up with the contracts that I had for lawn that uh, one of my commercial properties wanted to take me on for snow. Um, I actually asked about it and they said they'd be open for a bid. We ended up getting it. And uh, I wanna show you what we got set up. So if you notice, got the Boss DXT, it's not on the same truck anymore. So let me turn this thing around and show you guys what's going on. All right, so this is my 2012 Ford F350. And if you remember, I had my 2015 F250, but you see that? Oop, oop, oop. That's right, we got a new plow on this truck. So this is gonna be the main plow rig, and this is strictly a backup plow truck. So I took the plow off of this truck and put it onto this truck to have as a backup. And I got the wide out. I've used the wide out for a while and I've really, really liked that style of plow. Boss has the EXT. Um, I heard a lot of not so good things about the EXT that really steered me away from it. Uh, people saying that they had to weld the plow mounts because they kept breaking. The A-frame on the plow kept breaking on that. So I stayed away from that. I went to Western, got the wide out. Uh, didn't, wasn't, was told I wouldn't be able to get it right away. Uh, and then after calling them back like a week later after a big trade show, they said they could make it happen. So I went with the, with the Western Whiteout on this truck. It's literally brand new. I just waxed it and it's all good to go. And instead of, and ideally I'd like to have matching plows like brands, whether it's Western or Boss, it's not a big deal since they're both not getting used every storm. I'm literally, I'm a solo show. So I'm going out in that truck and uh, plowing with that. And if this breaks down, I'm using this truck. So it's a crew cab long bed, wouldn't be the best to plow with, but it is what it is. So the wide out starts at eight feet, extends to 10 feet. The DXT's nine, it's an eight two stainless, so it's eight foot two. Uh, both of them have LED headlights. I went with the extra Nighthawk uh, headlights from Western. They're about 500 bucks, uh, but I wanted bright lights to be able to, to do stuff. So um, the plan is, yeah, to have this be the main rig, this be the backup rig. And the reason uh, I did not get another Western plow is because there's no point in dropping another 10 grand uh, and getting another plow when it's not gonna get used the whole time. So basically what I'm gonna do, my plan right now is to run this setup for about two years till the warranty expires on this truck or this plow. If I like the Westerns, I'll probably end up selling the boss, buying another Western, and then I'll have a new plow with new warranty, install a Western mount in this truck, move this plow to that truck, and then buy another new Western for this truck, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what we got going. But this truck right here, uh, we got it all outfitted with lights and everything. 2015 Ford F-250 with the back rack. Um, I use bag salt, and then I also, I take off my tailgates in the winter, and I put a um, Boss TGS 1100 on there on the back. So we got white lights going to the back, and then amber light on top, so I can show you guys that here in a minute. Here's the brand new plow, uh, super excited about this. Might be getting some snow this week to try it out, but you can see, um, it's tough to tell. It looks like more of a matte finish. That's the wax doing its thing. And then, uh, yeah, the headlights themselves, those are going to be pretty cool. They are very bright. They got built-in blinkers, all that good stuff. Uh, the other reason I really like the Westerns is the way they hook up. Ten times easier to hook up. You can do it by yourself. The Boss over here isn't quite as easy to hook up. The electrical connections absolutely suck. They're terrible. It takes me legitimately five to ten minutes just to plug in two wires because the pins move and all that other stuff. If you know Boss plows, you know what I'm talking about. And I could probably buy a new harness for about 60, 70 bucks online and redo it all, but I shouldn't really have to. Um, this did come with the deflector on it. I bought this for my good friend um, not too far when I got this truck from him. This came on here. so. That's kind of what we went with. So this truck has never been plowed with before. I don't really want to plow with it, crew cab long bed. But what we are going to do is I do have the back rack and it is going to get set up the exact same way. I have all the lights and the wires and all that other stuff ready to go. I just need a buddy. Whenever he's got time, he's going to help me get all that stuff wired up. So that's pretty much what we got going right now. And then, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the plowing setup 2015 f-250 with the western wideout and then a 2012 ford f-350 with the 8.2 stainless dxt snow plow so just to show you here we got the western controller this is what it looks like uh, for the plows i'll do a separate video just on the plow itself showing you this and how it works and all that other stuff but up down left right scoop retract and you can control each wing independently a simple on off and then i got a boss salter wiring in this truck and then I did the, I actually had another wiring and everything put in on the other truck so I can use my salter. 
breaks down. Uh, we have it on auxiliary and auxiliary three and four. Let me turn this off so you guys can hear me. That's gonna be my strobe light. That's gonna be my white lights to the rear. So I'll show you those. So get out. There's the strobe light. This is during the day, so it's not quite near as bright. But, and that's the pattern. I can change the pattern on there as well. And uh, these white lights are super bright at night. They blind you. And then I also have reverse pro LED reverse lights that honestly, had I known how bright they were before I bought those lights, I wouldn't have even needed to buy those two white lights because they don't do anything once these are on. So I have them shining out this way more to give me more light. But that uh, that thing will, that strobe light too, these, these are both Echo brand. Uh, let me see if the sticker's on here somewhere. So it should be up there. Anyway, um, I want with the back rack setup so I don't have to screw anything to the actual truck itself. And the Echo light bar is awesome. Absolutely love it. So this is what it's gonna look like. That truck's gonna be exactly the same setup, light bar and two white lights anyway, because I already bought them. So it's all about safety, being visible. Uh, that's also without the headlights off. Let me turn the headlights on on the whiteout. All right, turned on the headlights for you guys. This is just the regular headlights on. It does not do justice during the day, but you have high beams as well and the blinkers, like I'd said before. So those will all light up. And then I did, just for the heck of it, turn on the Boss lights. The LED headlights on the Boss are awesome as well. I've used those in the past. The Nighthawks I've never used before, so I'm interested to get a storm or two underneath the belt and, and see how it's going. So what's nice is I'll have a, basically a straight blade that you know power extends and scoops and all that other stuff compared to a V-plow. And what's nice is we already got a storm and I got to use this plow on that truck. So I already know how long it takes me to do all my properties once. So with the wide out on the next storm, I'll get to actually see how much productivity uh, change I have with just that plow itself. So it's going to be cool to see how things work this year. And it's nice knowing that I'll have a backup plow and truck if need be. If this plow went down, I can still use this truck with this plow. Unfortunately, they're not interchangeable. That's why I'm saying in, a, in about two years, I think I plan to either just switch to all boss or all Western so that if a plow breaks, I can just swap out plows and all that other stuff. So shouldn't have to worry about an actual plow breaking. Usually it's just something simple like a hose, but yeah, there's many differences about this Western and boss plow uh, that I should probably make a video on just by itself. Uh, or I could talk a little bit about it now. And it's basically the, you have the chain driven lift on this truck, which basically uh, this is nice because you can ram it into a snow pile if it breaks down and chain it up, move these chains up and drive to your shop and get it fixed or place of that you get it fixed at. Whereas this one, there's no chain. It's a straight piston right to the, the A-frame here and then it lifts up. But honestly, you could probably do the same thing uh, if you needed to and just wrap a chain around the plow and put it to that up there. So, But yeah, I'm going to have to get this other truck all set up and make another video showing you both these at night. Uh, hopefully do some plowing videos this winter with this truck and hopefully get like a GoPro or something and have it in the cab and if that's something you guys want to see let me know but this is pretty much what it's going to look like for winter without the salter on the back uh, which you guys have seen that before so we'll get that on there eventually but we're all ready for snow if it comes and uh, if it doesn't come the plows will be nice and shiny and ready for next year so all right you guys thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one and take care and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because we got plenty more videos coming take it easy